Good morning, I'm Neva Reti Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Wednesday, 24th of January. In this update, inflation figures are due out today with the release of Consumer Price Index data for the December quarter. The central bank has forecast annual inflation to come in at 5%, while ASB thinks 4.7% and Kiwi Bank 4.6%. Herald Wellington business editor Janae Tibshraney says while there are positive signs, economists note inflation is still not where it needs to be. The battle to get inflation down, to get it back in its box, is a difficult one and there's still a wee bit to go. And while the domestic economy may be improving, attacks on ships in the Red Sea are adding pressure to the international scene. For that reason, expertise from our shores is set to help uphold maritime security in the Middle East. Six personnel are being deployed to the Red Sea, where Houthi rebels have been attacking commercial shipping. They'll support coalition forces who are carrying out precision attacks on identified military targets, but won't be directly involved in combat. Former Defence Minister Wayne Mapp says our troops will have special skills. There are people in the Defence Force who are extremely highly trained in this sort of thing, you know, who train with our partners to the highest of standards. They will be able to make a difference. Politicians, iwi leaders, church elders and a gaggle of press will today descend upon Ratana Pane Whanganui for the annual Ratana celebrations. But political editor Jason Wall says the backdrop to this year's festivities is particularly politically charged. Before even setting foot on the Ratana's grounds, Tipati Māori and the Prime Minister were trading barbs. Co-leader Debbie Nari Wapaka says so far the government's showing all the traits of typical white supremacists, something Chris Luxon strongly rejected. Both leaders will speak later this afternoon, with the war of words expected to continue throughout the day. Act won't attend Ratana today, given it's a religious event. Auckland Council is launching a new campaign to inform Fano and businesses about their property's flood risk. Be Prepared provides information and resources about what to do before, during and after a storm. The Reserve Bank has a new proposal for banks to help households with different interest rate environments. It's launching consultation around activating debt-to-income restrictions – and this means households will have a limit on how much they can borrow relative to their income. Memorabilia of the 1974 Commonwealth Games is on display throughout Christchurch, 50 years on from the event. Today marks half a century since 10 days of sporting events began in the smallest city to ever host the modern games. Volunteers at the New Brighton Museum have gathered hundreds of items in the last five months for a local exhibition. President Wayne Hawker says the collection has a great range of memorabilia. Someone actually brought in and have lent us a complete set of the medal that the athletes won. We've got, you know, we've got the full collection, gold, silver and bronze medal. In sport, Italian Yannick Sinner is through to a second Grand Slam semi-final after overcoming Russian fifth seed Andre Rublev in a late-night slugfest at the Australian Open. The New Zealand under-19 cricketers have beaten Afghanistan by one wicket in their World Cup in South Africa. And former World Tennis number 1 Ash Barty has been confirmed to play in the Pro-Am event, played alongside the New Zealand Golf Open starting February 29th. I'm Neva Reti Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.